Hi folks and welcome into Great Gadgets and Gizmos. I'm your host Lou Caputo and this is part two of our discussion on the Canon T2i camera otherwise known as the 550D. Now we talked about earlier about how great this camera is for shooting video, which it is, great for shooting stills, has a lot of wonderful features and benefits, but if you're someone who's going to be shooting a lot of video, you know someone who's getting into videography, maybe you're a professional out there, there are some things you're going to want to pick up for this camera you're going to need um, to really use it out in the field because uh, we found in our experience that there's a lot of great things it does, makes a beautiful picture, great depth of field, interchangeable lenses, 18 megapixel uh, CMOS sensor, all fantastic. But when you're shooting professional video, it makes you a little bit crazy out in the field. So to overcome all that, there are some accessories you're going to want to add to this camera. Let's start at the front of the camera right here. The first thing is going to be a map box. Now, this particular map box you see right here, we got from a company in India, believe it or not, called uh, Cine City. Didn't pay a whole lot of money for this, maybe um, I think less than $200 or right around $200. Um, it is a beautiful full-size map box. It fits on 15 millimeter uh, rails right here, and I'll tell you about those in a second as well. Um, but the nice thing about this is it has a French flag built into it right here, so if you're, you're getting some reflections from the sun, some lens flare, or uh, a flare off of one of the lights on the set, you can use the French flag right here to block that. You also have two filter plates right here. You can pull these out and it allows you to put uh, square filters in this 4x4 filters. Um, typically, you know, a neutral density filter or two or a um, polarizing filter or something of like, like that nature um, when you're shooting video. Uh, the next thing behind that right here is a follow focus. Now, we got this from a company called Indie System. Again, um, great deal. Find them on the internet. And the way this works is very simple. Also mounts to the rail system, which P.S. we also got from Indie System. These are, uh, these are graphite rails right here. Um, 15 millimeter, pretty much the standard out there. Very smooth to operate this for uh, following focus, which of course, you know, when you're dealing with these interchangeable lenses with a very short, uh, shallow depth of field, you're going to have to do that. And of course, you're gonna mark right here if you have a camera assistant working with you in AC. Um, you know, they're gonna be pulling focus for you maybe, or maybe just for you, so you do it yourself. It's a lot easier if you have the follow focus on this. Now, the way it's actually operating a lens is genius itself. These are called snap rings, and what's really cool about these is they're magnetic. They come apart, you put them around your lens, and then they snap together. You get a five pack of these in various sizes. These are also from Indie System, and uh, I am very happy with these. These work remarkably well, fit right around the lens of the, uh, you know, various size lenses, and does a great job uh, working uh, in conjunction with the follow focus you see right here. Now, we've been talking about the rail system, and that's what this whole camera is sitting on right here, are these, uh, these graphite rails. Uh, that are underneath and they are actually it's got a little uh, a little podium right here for the camera to sit kind of raises it up off the rails a little bit and then underneath that we've got something called the indie slider uh, this thing is genius and I'm going to show you why in a second um, it has a pistol grip on it right here so you can very quickly and easily position the camera any way that you need to very very simple to do I you know it's it's not great for panning or tilting or anything like that I mean it's okay but that's not what the purpose is the purpose is to get the camera where you want it and lock it in position but the big deal is the slider right here okay the thing about this slider is this is very smooth for getting your tracking shots you know instead of bringing out a full-size dolly onto the set you can very easily use this to get beautiful tracking shots it's really effective if you have some foreground elements and you're moving the camera back and forth it looks absolutely spectacular spectacular. Um, very easy to use, very easy to set up. It is well made as well. Not very expensive, again, from Indie Systems. And this will also mount on a tripod. So you can set this up in your tripod and have your own little dolly sitting out there on top of the tripod, which is great. Now, the last thing I want to show you on the camera itself is right up on top here and it's a Rode microphone, okay? There are microphones built into this camera, they are not fantastic. Um, and because this has a 3.5 millimeter jack in here, you can't really use uh, any of your professional microphones with XLR inputs. So you've gotta find a microphone that has this um, little phono jack. And this one does, it's made by Rode. It's, it, you know, it's a good shotgun microphone. It's not great, but it's a good shotgun microphone. Works off of a nine volt battery because this camera does not have phantom power. Um, and has a little shock mount on here, and it does a pretty decent job. Um, you know, for uh, if you're just going out getting that sound, or uh, you know, if you are, want reference audio um, when you're working with another audio device. I'm going to spin this back around to the front so you can see that, and I want to talk about audio a little bit more. This is a device, it's called the uh, Tascam uh, audio uh, receiver right here. It's actually a recorder, it's a flash recorder. 
Um, and what's really cool about this is it records the SDHC cards just like the camera does. Um, it will record hours and hours and hours of incredibly high quality audio, up to 48 kilohertz. Um, it has two built-in microphones you see right here, uh, stereo microphones. There are also two more microphones built into the front of this unit as well. And then the big deal right here on the bottom, XLR inputs. So what we typically do out in the field is we will record um, a boom microphone or lavaliers or come out of a mixer into the Tascam unit and then have reference audio going into the camera through the shotgun microphone so everything matches up. So again, in closing, if you're somebody out there and you're looking at getting into the DSLR revolution, joining uh, the fight out there and shooting some great video on your own, you know, if you're going to do a lot of it and you're going to shoot professionally, there's a couple things you're going to want to go out there and buy and I hope that this, uh, this little guide was helpful for you.